everybody. It's DR Drake 63 here today. Gonna have some fun with this uh, brand new CZ Hammer Classic, also known as the Hammer Coach. Uh, as you notice, uh, as we've talked about before, this is a external hammer classic shotgun. What we're gonna do today Shoot some, uh, shoot some target slash bird loads out of this. So nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. But we're gonna have some fun today. Load this guy up. Make sure she functions right. Okay. So what we have here, over here yonder, is we've got a couple cans of pop. We thought it might be fun to just blow these up to start. Let's see what that's like. Well, that sure didn't take much. And these boys come right out. We like that. Let's blow up some more. Okay, I don't know how good a shot you have to be with a shotgun at that range to hit something, but uh, from a point of aim perspective, definitely did what we wanted it to, without a doubt. <clears throat> You can see here that uh, this here pop can got shredded pretty good. So I'd say what well, next thing we need to do is take it out a little bit further. So if you look out yonder here, you'll see on that top of that hay bale right there, there's one can of pop. And a little bit just to the left of it here, you'll see another can down there. I don't know how well this is going to photograph, but... Uh, that's a good 30 feet away, so we ought to get a better idea what kind of uh, what kind of aim we can get with that. Well, it took them both out again without a lot of trouble. These uh, extractors work fine. No problem getting the shells out. Uh, they slide out pretty easily. So I'm placing a couple new pop cans out here, and I'll show you the ones we just hit. Again, this is from a good 25, 30 feet or so, and you'll see I aim dead center for this can. As you can see, that's where these pellets went. Same thing, uh, same thing with this one. Wasn't like just one or two of them caught it, but uh, pretty much just about all of them did. So we'll see how this looks in uh, a closer view. I'd say that got a little bit sticky. So what we're seeing is, um, uh, just to point a couple things out, uh, this center bead is very accurate for aiming at those kind of distances, which are pretty typical for cowboy shooting. Um, and these, these uh, uh, ex uh, ejectors working really nice, hammers, everything does what it wants to do, uh, and there's not really a lot of kick out of this. Not a lot of kick at all. I've had uh, I've had guns that'll kick a lot harder. Now keep in mind, I'm shooting a two and three quarter inch bird shot. Uh, you put a slug in here, you put a three inch load, and there's chances you're going to have something that's a little bit more of a little bit more of an issue. But uh, gotta say, I really am pleased with the handling of this firearm and the way that it shoots. No question about it. Obviously, I need to get some more practice at some of the stuff that matters.
See right here too, those shells just drop right out. So you really don't have any problem at all with that. Very impressed, very impressed altogether. No, you talk about accuracy with a shotgun, obviously you're talking a scatter gun, but uh, hey, this is a 20 inch barrel. Um, first time firing it, I will say that uh, the triggers, while a little bit on the stiff and deliberate side, um, that's about what I want to have in a trigger, to be honest with you. So um, very, very happy with that. So I'd have to say uh, overall that this firearm is, uh, is definitely something that impresses me. have to go ahead and tell you that uh, overall um, this is money well spent. This shoots a lot smoother and uh, I like the trigger and, and the brake open on this better than that Mikhail we were talking about the other day. And uh, overall very very nice firearm. Um, we'll have to see how this does in terms of durability but uh, as you can see we just put some first shots through it. Everything's held together nice. And uh, that's what I'm mostly looking for. If there's a, a defect with, with a firearm, typically it's going to show itself early rather than later. So um, we're going to go ahead and get our time in uh, shooting this. And uh, next, let's see what kind of pattern we get. Okay, well, first I shot was the right barrel. And my point of aim was uh, right above that first line of type, so about right where it says two. And uh, I'm gonna wanna go ahead and take that one over again. Uh, just to make sure I did it right, the one on the left aimed exactly where I aimed for it. So this was the left barrel, this one was the right barrel. Uh, distance wise, not far, we were out at about 21 feet. I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and redo that shot on the right just to make sure that I was indeed aiming correctly and I know what the barrel's gonna do. Okay, so I'm glad I took that shot over. I, I definitely was uh, I definitely was aiming low and I was more careful this time. I aimed for the T on two uh, from uh, about 21 feet and you'll see uh, that uh, that's where the shot went pretty much. Also redid the left side, and uh, as you can see, pretty consistent there. Aim for right for the center, and there you go. So, you know, we are talking about a scatter gun. We do get that, but I uh, have to say that uh, when it shoots where you aim it, both barrels do what it's supposed to do. That's always helpful. So we, uh, we definitely took some aim with this and uh, saw what we could do with this firearm today. Obviously, it's a side-by-side -side shotgun. What you expect it to do is go bang and bang, but uh, you can sometimes get sights that don't work. You can sometimes get things from the factory where the, the hammers or uh, uh, firing mechanism, any of those things don't work properly. And I can honestly say with this firearm, they do. Very pleased with it. I'd uh, highly recommend if, uh, if you're looking for a, a gun for, uh, for just general fun or for hunting, Definitely take a look at this uh, at this CZ Hammer Coach or CZ Hammer Classic. I'd also uh, will be letting you know as as I kind of progress with learning more about the cowboy shooting game, whether this is the type of rifle you want to use. Are you are we going to find that uh, the external cocking hammer is uh, something that slows us down too much, uh, or what the scenario is? But just from the the, the single standpoint of authenticity something that has that true Old West look and feel about it, um, this, this sucker right here nails it. I would most definitely recommend the CZ Hammer Coach. If you're looking to spend around $800 to $900 on a quality piece of uh, workmanship, do so. You can spend a lot more, you can spend a lot less, uh, but uh, for right now, this does the trick for me. Appreciate you watching. This is DR Drake 63 saying so long.